So actually, this was this this whole thing was inspired by um, Charlotte, who is uh, my girlfriend's mother. She, we, were, we were talking, and she was saying uh, we were talking about like inspiration and how. Well, she was saying her inspiration. She has inspirations, but are not enough to turn into action. So I thought this was a way of kind of like exploring uh, that concept. So this is kind of like the wall of. Of, uh, of action here. So here we actually have action. Good morning, baby. Good morning, Abbott. Good morning. And then over here we have ideas. These are ideas that kind of pop up. They have different, they have different shapes and forms. And uh, then sometimes something that doesn't work with, like sometimes an idea pops up, but then you've got the hammer of criticism kind of like flattens it out. So that kind of represents that. And then we have uh, an idea kind of pops up. And sometimes the idea kind of just breaks through to action. And then over here you see kind of like kind of things happening, like kind of ideas that turn into form. And, um, but then, what, and I kind of wondered, like, what is it, you know, how do ideas kind of break through? You know, what does it take? You know, sometimes an idea is just so powerful, it just kind of breaks through to the other side here and goes into action. And then I was thinking about skill. So this is your model of, uh, this is like skill, so represent skill. And uh, then you've got like an idea. If you have an idea and it fits together with your skill, if you've got skill, like you're, uh, David, are skilled in uh, pot making or, or pottery or ceramics, and so you can have an idea and you can actually actualize it. And uh, for me, if I try it, it doesn't work very good. So, so that's so you can take your, so then you kind of can break through that way. So you got the, the uh, extra oomph of skill. So, so, any thoughts on that? It, I, I, I like just the whole process of yeah. the, the thought of what inspiration is, what it all takes. Mm -hmm. uh, but the hammer is really uh, a key point because you always have in any type of uh, the process of making art or just anything is you have the restrictions. And I, that's what I see the hammer being is the restriction, uh -huh. the, the limitations. Yeah. Uh, and e even the broken one. Yeah, the broken one was kind of like on this side, so the <laughs> restrictions are broken. Yeah. They get broken on the... <coughs> Interesting. Do you have any thoughts? What, what's your name again? Uh, I call me Lin Chi. Lin Chi? Yes. Do you have any thoughts on inspiration and what it takes to kind of get your ideas to yeah. take form, uh -huh. to kind of turn into action? I don't know. No thoughts. I mean, what happens with your inspirations? Are they always they always turn into action? Inspiration turns into action. Uh -huh. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh huh. Do you ever have some that don't work? They kind of just Quite die. Often. <laughs> <laughs> Quite often. <laughs> and, and, and that's what and that's what I the like hammer uh, represents. Oh. Well, these are ideas that just get crushed by. Oh. Uh, I, I was thinking more of like criticism, but uh, David's got a little different take on it. I don't think I don't think criticism uh, should ever be that um, final. Uh -huh. uh, it should be more of a tool. You know, it's like it's just somebody's opinion, and go on with it. So, so it's kind of like using the criticism to kind of work to shape your to skills. Shape your skills. <laughs> But well, you know, back to the broken hammer is you can, you know, the, the, the broken hammer is more symbolic than the the real the the, the complete hammer because it, uh, when you have the inspiration, you can move through and you know, even though you have limitations, which once again I'm saying the hammer is, is like a limitation. Mm. You were saying criticism, but I don't think anybody any criticism should ever stop. Uh, you know, and unfortunately it does. So many great ideas have been just canceled out by criticism or whatever ramifications, you know. 
Yeah. So what are the limitations? Like what kind of limitations? Everybody has their own. Yeah. I mean, if it comes down to the almighty dollar, that's a limitation for some. And that was the almighty dollar which you had brought up. Was Actually, you were saying the mighty dollar was kind of like a motivation <laughs> yes. factor for making things happen, though. Well, it, it, you know, it's either that or be hungry. <laughs> right? I mean, for me to be an artist or a craftsman, you know, I don't, I'm not financially self wealthy, so I need to make the money. So I have to put a price on my, on my work. I have to put a price on my time. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. that is a, a limitation. Oh, that's one of the limitations. Yeah, that's one of the, that's, that the hammer that's, that's, itself is like a limit. Yeah. It becomes a <laughs> limitation. So here was like you have little ideas. So the little ideas sometimes fit, and then kind of like a big idea, you know, fits in with the skill. Well, there's one thing you yeah, didn't skill. take in consideration with your limitations is that the clay shrinkage is at ten percent. Oh, ten percent. Yeah. So that your your right. idea may not fit into your skill. <laughs> My skill is going to get <laughs> screwed up. <laughs> so back.